Cube has uh, our new our newest interface that's used on all of our current generation players, and it also supports up to 23 music streaming services. Okay. So you can install like Kobuz, Tidal, Deezer, um, Amazon Music. There's many others that are supported throughout the world, and that also you can do offline content. So you can download. The, the music to your player and use it when you're not connected to Wi-Fi. Is this the first time that actually offline is supported? Because I, I think that was something that was requested by customers a lot. Right? So it started with the uh, SP1000 and then the uh, SR15, the SE100 did, and now ConCube has that also. And then our new flagship player, which we'll show in a minute. Um, also does have that. So yeah, going forward, all last Sound Current players will have that ability to download music streaming services. Um, so then, uh, so it's going to be trickled down. That software, you mean that even the SR15 might have that? The or? SR15 does have it. Already currently. Have, yeah. Already so okay. yeah, anything current. Um, the older players will not get it. So like the AK380 okay. or the 240 will not get that option. Um, what we did here is a five-port XLR line out. So that connects to a two-channel system. So it'll actually be a balanced connection to your two-channel system. So you could use this at home for home use, hook it up to your, use it as a digital source, as a streaming source for your two-channel system at home, unplug it, and then take it with you on the road. You have all your music, same music that you had at home with you on the road. Uh, it uses, uh, you, you can't see it here, but it uses USB-C and also supports fast charging. So it charges from zero to full in about two hours, as opposed to the older Astel and Kern players, which did, took about four hours to fully charge from zero. And this comes with a uh, black leather case, which we don't have on display here. So this is the main screen that you start at. If you swipe to the left, you have your... You can choose by album, artist, genre, songs. Here I'd be choosing by artist. Here by album. You can actually switch the album view. Uh, so this is the main screen here. Yeah, when you go here to services, here's where all your apps are shown. How would you how would you actually load up other other, other apps? Is it like a manual system? Yeah, so it's a manual system. You could go onto our website and we have the instructions. You would plug okay. it into a computer. You'd have to download the Android APK okay, yeah. and then drop it into a folder on here. Once it's on the player, uh, you'll see the option on this screen to install it. You hit the button and it installs. This side here, you see you're now playing. This is everything that's currently the current album that's playing. You swipe up from the bottom. This is a play history of everything that the last 50 songs that you've played. And then this is a virtual back button, which can be moved around the screen and it to bring you back to the previous screen that you were on. What is the battery life on, on the ConCube? So ConCube, since it has a more powerful headphone amplifier and also has the dual ESS chips which use a lot of power is about 9 hours so compared to the first generation con which was 15 hours this is a little bit less than the but it has the more powerful DAC chips and the more powerful headphone amplifier. It's still quite uh, standard for flagship products, mm -hmm. like a nine hour, 10 hour. Yeah, battery correct. Life. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in terms of pricing, where does it stand in terms of the lineup? The, the uh, so this is um, 1,500 US. Uh, we don't have EU pricing set on it yet. Um, so it's pretty much in the middle of our player lineup. Price wise, when does your team expect it to be available? Uh, it will be shipping at the end of May and will be in dealers the first week of June. Okay, so this is our new AKT9AE uh, IEMs. 
They're made for us by Bear Dynamic. Um, so we, SL Kern focuses on players. We design, manufacture players. And then we do headphones and uh, in-ear monitors. They're SL Kern branded, but we partner with existing headphone and, and earphone manufacturers who have been in the business a long time and have the experience to do so. So this is one of our collaboration projects with uh, Bear Dynamic. It's uh, an upgrade to the T8IE IEMs that came out a few years ago. Um, a very popular IEM with uh, our Aston Current users. So this is the new upgrade. Um, it's using a pure copper cable. It's a specially designed OEM cable for Aston Kern. It's the same cable that's used in our AK uh, T5P second generation. Um, and it's also the same cable that's used in our uh, Jerry Harvey Diana. That's another IEM that we released a few months ago. So um, this is still a very new product. Um, this is like a prototype that we have here that we're showing off. This will be shipping in late July, early August. So this is our new flagship. That's the A and Ultima SP2000. Uh, just announced here in Munich for the first time. It is pretty similar to our current flagship, which is the SP-1000, but steps up to double the amount of internal memory. So 512 gigabytes of internal memory versus the 256 gigabytes in the SP-1000. One micro SD card slot, which will support up to a two terabyte uh, micro SD card. So you can really get a lot of music on there. It's also our first player that supports DSD-512 playback natively. All of our previous players have only supported up to DSD-256. Uh, while there's currently not much or anything available in DSD-512, it is future-proof that it will support that once you start seeing more musical tracks come out. Also, power output has been increased significantly from our previous flagship. The uh, SP-2000 has six VRMS output on the balance, which is almost twice the power output as the previous generation SP-1000. So it could drive a wide variety of headphones, even some of the more inefficient planar magnetics without a problem, without the need for a separate amplifier. Okay. How would you compare uh, to the CanCube in terms of uh, amplification, actually? So CanCube has about double the power output as the SP-2000, so it's not going to have as much power output. But for most of the headphones that you would take with you while you're traveling on the road, commuting on an airplane, it would drive any of those without a problem. And it also depends, too. I mean, if you have a headphone that's very power-hungry and you really like to make it loud, it might not drive it as well, but at reasonable volumes, it will do okay. no problem with any headphone. It just like so much. The form factor is so much different from the. Yeah, it's much correct. Slimmer, it's, just, it's meant to be more portable. Yeah, so it's actually much thinner than our previous generation uh, SP1000 flagship. We've managed to make it thinner, um, a little more portable than that itself. Um, same UI as we saw in the Con Cube. Um, this steps up to an octa-core CPU processor versus the ConCube, which had a uh, quad-core. So as you can notice when you're flipping through the screens, much more fluid, very quick, um, no lag, no delay when going through. And that's due to the uh, octa-core processor that we include in there. And the, the SP2000 will be available in two body types. What you see here is the stainless steel, and we also have a copper version. Copper so, version, and uh, how much are they going to be roughly? I mean, uh, about 3,500 US, okay. and those will be on sale in July.